I try to be aggressive and uh, be patient on the court. Oh, he's got every shot in the ball. This is Martin here, my coach. You love him within five minutes. He's pretty relaxed. He's a hard worker. He's humble. He has like kind of like all the condiments to be a huge player. Watching these players play and uh, get to see them in, in life, there's a lot of things to improve. Ladies and gentlemen, first round match will be the best of three tiebreak sets. So let's the chair from China, Shang Junjian. With the wildcard opportunity, qualifying as the first Chinese male player is obviously the most like special moment for me. He just turned 17 a month ago. I mean, he played his first Master 1000 here, but the ranking, he's not there yet. I'm pretty sure that in the future he's going to belong to this to this level. A terrific performance from the Spaniard. I mean, my family and my team are just really happy to play here. There's a lot of room to improve and uh, hopefully I'll come back stronger. I'm going to be warming up with Sebastian Corda today since he's playing Rafa Nadal. I'm also a lefty, so hopefully I'll give him a good warm up and then he can do really well today. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> my mom played uh, table tennis and I think she's quite good at it. And my dad played football. He played in Spain. It's always fun to spend some family time. Do you feel like doing one more session in the afternoon? Or? Yes. Yeah. With a. Uh, 100 right? Yeah, 100%. Jerry was, uh, I mean, my parents picked it. The show Tom and Jerry has been around for a long time, and I'd say that's my favorite show, and I think my parents would like me to be as smart as the, the mouse, Jerry. I think is a very smart and Perfect. We're here. Thank you very much. Because I've always liked to like, you know, run around and I, I've got like plenty of energy when I was little. Thank you. Good morning guys. Tennis was something that I like to spend my energy on and I really like the competition, so that's how I got into it. Morning, how are you? I got it. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to run to get the balls today, so. I want to get ready. Yeah. This is Martin here, my coach. We've been uh, working together for a, a short period of time, only a month, but I think we're working very well together and uh, I really like him and he seems like a nice guy, so. <laughs> Jerry, I mean, he's such a nice kid. He, you love him within five minutes. He's pretty relaxed, pretty cool, easy to work with. He's a hard worker, he's humble. He was a player and uh, if you search up his matches, it's, there's some really cool ones. The qualifier from Argentina, Martin Alun. Yes. What? I, I would say he, he's still better than me and he can still play. That's Carlos. You don't need to see that forehand to recognize Carlos. No. Oui. That was a good one. Yeah. I have to be more professional now since playing the big tournaments. You can see Arca has a special talent. And uh, Holger, they're, they're also very young, still 19, and I think they just act different. That's why, you know, they're at the, at the top already. We want to do some stretches here, right? Outside, outside. Outside? Yeah. I'm gonna get a cup of water. Sebastian. Here we're at the warm up area. I think it's uh, one of my favorite. You get the grass, and uh, there's players playing football all the time, and uh, everybody's just here doing their things. You can see how they do their warm up and how professional they are. 对，对于这个杰瑞的未来呢，呃，包括他对生活的这些就是要求来说，其实我是非常非常严格的，因为我认为，呃，生活当中的一点一滴是能够决定你比赛最终走势的一个重要的一个基础。
there's a lot to learn when you see those top players doing their things and uh, you sometimes realize that, oh, maybe I should I should also do that for my warm-up or that, that makes you more focused. Especially in the locker room, it's uh, a lot different than the juniors and every player knows what they're doing and they're seeing this as a job, not more like uh, something to relax and uh, something to have fun with. I think he's a really cool guy and a very fun guy to practice with. I've known him for a long time. I really respect uh, his family and him and it's always fun to practice. I try to be aggressive and uh, be patient on the court. I think for especially for his game, he's just trying to be a little bit more aggressive without kind of losing control, not just overheating the ball. Oh, this guy is just ridiculous. He's got every shot in the ball. But taking the ball a little bit sooner, a little bit faster, uh, physical condition a little bit, you know, I like have to be there a little bit better. Thank you, Peter. That Tom was not running, you know. There was only, <laughs> it's, only, it's only Jerry. There is no Tom, you know. <laughs> no Tom. Thank you, guys. Good luck. If you hear someone screaming, that's me. Go, oh, Sandy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah I'll of watch course. Event. I get some kind of credit. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. No Good luck. Like. If you win, it's just because of the warm up. Of course. I was trying to play like Rafa, but it's not working. <laughs> Second round match Rafael Nadal against the home favourite Sebastian Corda. That was the serve that you were doing in the warm up. That's why. The same serve. Incredible play from Corda. 3 2 advantage, Corda. 4 2. Eight points away. Hopefully he gets it. And where are we heading now? To the golf course. We're going to play some golf and hopefully I don't embarrass myself. Don't worry, I'm going to do that job for you. <laughs> no, never. Never. No, never. That's why he brings me here. You know, like he wants me to to, to shank some balls, so then he feels better after me. I'm gonna see your swing. No, you're gonna play. You said at least five. Yeah. Nah, no chance. Okay, come on, Jetty. I wanna see that swing. I started when I was around 11, maybe. I've always liked it. It's good for tennis, I think. You have to be very patient. Let's try. Let's see. No way. You're... Oh, I came up short. Jao was down there. He beat you on a tennis court yesterday. Would you put him on a golf course and see how he's looking at? I think so. He said that he's plus 20, so I think I'd, I'd beat him there. I'm around 10 to 15 on a good day. Settle it on the golf course. Right? Yeah. And then we can have the revenge on uh, the golf course. I'm a tiger. Perfect. Finish with a good one? Yeah. Back to Sevi. Ever since we left, he's not doing so yeah. well. Sevi's down 2 1. Rafa serving. Yeah. Can you pull a live stream on your phone? No way. Where did you find that? Not done yet. And that Seven six. No, Sevi. Yeah. So close, right? For Sevi. It's so close, but it's also so far. Bad luck. He showed an amazing level on this tournament, and I think the the, the key. It's going to be for him to maintain this level for a long time, playing challengers and playing maybe another future, we don't know, hopefully only challengers, but sustaining the level, you know, like this kind of level that you can play against like top 100 players, and that's going to be the key for him uh, for this year. Watching these players play and uh, get to see them in, in life, there's a lot of things to improve and uh, that's something I'll discuss with my coaches and the most important is to improve in tennis and uh, physically. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> the dinner part is probably the best part of the day, and uh, besides playing tennis, <laughs> looks like I'll get something healthy, maybe maybe some meat since I don't have a I don't have a match until Monday, and uh, maybe something unhealthy in the side. So far, it's been an amazing day. I got two, two really good hits, and hopefully I'm ready for the next tournament. Thank you guys for following the day in the live. See you guys soon.